Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Mori's Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing Let's Go to the City for Animal Crossing City Folk and it is quite a late one today we're having a nighttime episode because we need to go up to the city and check out Red's items because we are on the search for some boxing ring fight club items and I believe at least one of them is a Red exclusive so we're going to go and check Red's stock it should be rotated today we are on Wednesday in game and also, um, it's late in the night, so look at Rosie hiding over there. <laughs> it's late at night, uh, well it's not too late, it's like just gone 8 o'clock, which means the reset center might be open as well. So I've kind of timed it so we can check both Red and the reset center. Hey Rosie, how have you been? It's M Love. I've been totally worried about you Squeaky. One day you were there and the next you were gone, it's kind of spooky. Well, actually, it's just because we've been busy in Wild World and the Flower Festival, but, you know, uh, to put the week count at two. Oh, sorry about that. So, yeah, thank you for joining me today. Literally, we're just going to head up to the city, probably. We've got a few items as well, which I just dumped here from Maury's profile. We've got the sporty wall and sporty floor. I can't remember what they look like, so we're going to check those out. I get the feeling they're, like... I don't know if they're like more of a stadium thing, so they might not be suitable. And of course we have a basic painting, which I think we don't need to donate, but it was in Nook, so I just bought it anyway. Uh, right, yeah, have we got plenty of money and space in our pockets? Yes, yes. Okay, let's head up to the city straight away then. Uh, yes, I would like to take the bus to the city, please. It's quite cool going up there at night time. We don't do it too often. And we've only met Mr. Rossetti once, so hopefully it's open. It'd be really cool if it was. Hey, Captain. I also have um, the list of Red's exclusive furniture in front of me. I've got the guidebook open. So any items that Red has, we need to really start buying them. I'm kind of regretting getting this far in the game now and not making sure we come here every single week. Is that Francine or Chrissy over there? Right, let's let's check um Mr. Rossetti. Please be open. No, it's not open. Normally, for those that don't know, one of these cones would be moved. And then a lot of light would be coming out from the tunnel. And that's the reset center. We've only been in there once, I believe. So maybe we'll have to do a few nights to uh check that out. Okay, well, we've got plenty of money on us. We may as well go straight to Red's. Um, we'll probably end up buying the painting anyway, since we'll tr try and complete the museum. You never know if it's going to be real. Uh, what if ain't our favorite cousin, a, ha a hearty welcome to you, Molly. Oh, we've got a kitty clock. And we do have a bunch of kitty furniture in Molly's house, which is good. Let me just check this, if it's on the list here. Two kitty items are Red exclusives, actually. Kitty bed and the kitty clock. Okay, so we have to buy this. It's not really a good item for the gym, but it will definitely work in our lovely and our playroom, which is our main room as we go in the house. Ain't that kitty clock just a sight for sore eyes? Red's been doing this a long time, and I don't even uh, know if I've ever seen a finer piece come through. To be honest, I'm not even sure I want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, hit me with the price. How much is it going to be? What does the guidebook say? Oh, the guidebook says 1,000... Wait a minute. The guidebook says 1,900 bells. But he is charging us 2,960 bells. Why is that? That's very weird. Uh, maybe a mistake in the guidebook. But we, we were going to buy it anyway. Right, what is this one? The Worthy Painting. What are the prices in this guidebook are wrong? Worthy Painting. 1,960 bells. This, this guidebook must have listed Tom Nook's prices, for the, even for the red items, I think. Oh dear, what a mistake. But we're going to buy it anyway. Worthy Painting. Get that checked. Which also is a red exclusive, by the way. So we can't buy that. That Worthy Painting won't appear in Nook's, for example. I gotta tell you, Cousin Red's always astounded at how you can sniff out a bargain. Well, we might as well buy it if it's a Red exclusive. We've got a widescreen TV. Oh, that is also a Red exclusive. The guy is saying 2,200. So I'm guessing Red's gonna be over 4,000. 
4,400. So it's double the price. We'll take it. Ah, I did it. I sold the whole. Oh, yeah. It's, it's celebrating because we literally just bought everything. Uh, but Red will have the whole new shipment in next week. So make sure you come back. See, we, we've made Red, Red's week. He's going to have a week off now. He doesn't appear until next Wednesday. Oh, no. I forgot about the... The invite thing. Ah, oh, yes, Molly. How is that referral business coming along? Yeah, we're going to take an invitation. We'll put it in the recycling. Um, but yeah, we're going to pretty much focus on Molly's house for a little while, I think. We've got the main room to do. I can't even remember what we started doing upstairs. And then finish off the basement. Uh, and the base. Once the basement's finished, that will be a kind of a finished room that we probably won't touch again. Right, let's just refresh ourselves to see what furniture Gracie has now and whether or not we should be saving up for it. I'm pretty much a fan of everything. Oh, is it still the princess stuff? Is this the spring thing? It's not on sale yet, so it's not closing anytime soon. I do feel like maybe we should try and buy this. I think it would look good upstairs in Molly's house, maybe. We never did get around to buying it, did we, last year? But we would need it. We would need like uh, 1.5 million bells, I think. Huh. Oh well, we'll we'll think about it. It's always nice to see label for a bit, anyway. Right. Okay. Have to excuse me. I've got a bit of a cough. Right, I don't think we want to risk getting our fortune told because we end up just normally getting bashed over the head. Um, how many emotions has Molly got? One. Okay, we could probably grab an emotion while we're here and then head back and work on our room a little bit. Now we've got the exclusive red kitty clock and a couple paintings to check as well. And also I ordered a another boxing corner Oh, excuse me, ma'am, if you'd like to enter... Oh, yes, please buy a ticket. Of course, I'm sorry. We weren't sneaking in, I promise. Welcome to the marquee. If you'd like to see the show, tickets are 800 bells each. Uh, what show would you like to see? Oh, here we go. Irritation, that's what we've got already. Surprise, mischief, sadness. Um, I think mischief is the perfect one for Molly, isn't it? So you'd like to see the mischief, yeah. That'll be 800 bells. Uh, show begin in a few minutes. Okay, let's go in the indoor. We always pretend this one's the indoor and the other one's the outdoor, but it doesn't really matter. Oh no, it's an empty theater. Not a good sign. I'm, I'm nervous. Let's go. We're going to sit at the back here. We're going to sit right in the dark. Thank you for your patience, everyone. The Marquis is pleased to welcome Dr. Shrunk starring in the feature presentation, Miss Jeep. I always like this bit. It's like we're, it's kind of like a, kind of a, a Friday night out, <laughs> just chilling. Uh, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Dr. Shrunk is in the house. Um, mm, I have never got a serious case of the up to no goods today. Want to know why? Yeah, I bet you would. Psych, gotcha. Uh, the doctor, oh, that was the, the quickest one ever. What? The joke's on us, because we just paid for the quickest show ever. MC, we hope you enjoyed the show today. We hope to see you again in the future. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect for Molly. Right, let's get out of here. I'm really going to have to mind my talking. My, I just keep making myself cough. But luckily we have a mute button, so hopefully no coughs escape into the Let's Play. So apologies if it does though. Anyway, yeah, we have only seen Frillard once as well. You can just see Frillard on the poster there. It's always Dr. Shrug. I think Frillard only does like four. Hey, Mac, I saw some people coming out of Reds the other day and they looked pumped. Probably rich people from Moriland. <laughs> Those people chow on diamond sparkling uh, Panang curry. Diamond sprinkles make everything taste better. 
I don't know. I don't think anyone's rich in Moriland somehow. We can't even afford to shop at Gracie's. Anyway. That's all we can really do here for now. So we'll head back to Moriland and we've got a couple chores to do. And then we can get to work on our house. Use our new items, hopefully. Okay, we are back. So we're gonna grab those items up here, just so we got them on us. But I think we're gonna to go to the museum first, cause get these two paintings checked out. And we'll see what these sports things look like. I've never displayed them. They're DLC items, so I don't know what to expect, to be honest. What's this? The basic painting, worthy painting. Uh, we can get rid of that. Lab wall. We might end up using the lab wall again. And the widescreen TV we don't really need, do we? Okay. How's our flowers looking? All our flowers are looking good. Oh, we're going the wrong way. Actually, I didn't even notice the perfect garden. Uh, say, M Love, can I talk to you for a sec? Uh, reason I've been thinking long and hard about leaving this town. Uh, oh, I actually pressed don't go, Chief. Uh, hey, since it's nice here, uh, nice to hear that you'll miss me, M Love, but I've got to live life by my own rules, you know. Anyhow, uh, I'm not vanishing, just this instance, just letting you know. Okay. We were going to let you go anyway, Chief. Uh, oh, the perfect garden's uh, looking good. Right, let's get to the museum. And we'll check these two paintings. I can't remember which ones we need. I really should get through to, or get round to doing our checklists. But it's always worth checking whether they're genuine or not. So this worthy painting is a red exclusive. Oh, it's real and we need it. How can a mere owl capture its essence in a single phrase? Well, I suppose all one can say is that it wouldn't be more of a worthy painting. Or it couldn't be more than a worthy painting. And I must find a spot to proper uh, with proper lighting to do this beauty justice. That's really good news. That's one step closer to completing the artwork. And I think we've done the basic painting, but this was bought in Nook, so it's 100% genuine. Alas, the basic painting has already been donated by Mori. Bit of a pity, that. Uh, well, rather odd there being two identical paintings. Uh, might one of them be... Hey, pay no, me no mind. Bladders, like, does not want to get into that territory. He does not want to accuse anyone of donating a fake. At least we know it's genuine. Uh, maybe we could have it in Molly's house. Okay, well, that's the paintings done. I forgot how quick we can get through that sometimes. Although I still can't bring myself to do all the fossils that have sat there. Uh, hey, Apollo! Hey, it's one night, uh, honey of a night, isn't it? Makes me want to howl at the moon. Wait, you can see the moon? Yo, Molly, you ever heard rumors that about a special can you can get when you buy, buy lots of seeds. Apparently, it can even restore withered red turnips to health. I raised red turnips for a pickling, but man, look away for five seconds and they start dying. If that can really exists, I sure like to get my mitts on it. I wonder if anyone has ever sent a gold watering can to a villager. Can you imagine if after all this time that was discovered as a secret? Right, I'm gonna go down here and just check on our little weed plots. Oh, there's another one here. Oh, it's looking so cool. It's looking really cute. It's kind of peaceful. Right, the rose garden is looking good as well. Uh, 
There we go. I think there's also a fossil up near Maury's house. But yeah, right now Molly's house is kind of the focus. Is there one? Yeah, there's one here. So I do feel like the other houses are kind of done, apart from the flags on each house. No, this area is looking good. Right, let's head back to Molly's house now. And wait, who's moved in? Oh yes, the mouse. And Simon. Uh, from Tom Nook. So we've only got one male, that's so unusual. Um, delivery for Molly, we're pleased to deliver the red corner that you ordered. Please visit Nickertons again. Yeah, unfortunately we only have a red corner, so we've got two red corners now. But I think having two red corners is better than having like one red corner and three neutral corners or having no corner. So we'll go around and do that first. We're going to have to get around the back of the boxing ring. But if you haven't seen it, this is our gym slash boxing ring slash fight club. Oops. Oops. I'm trying to pick it up. No! There we go. So it's a bit weird to have two red corners because like, obviously you have opposites usually. But... There we go. At least now we have a full... Boxing ring. There we go. Asleep on the on the boxing ring. <laughs> it's a pretty cool item. They should make more items like that that go to, together well. What they should do actually is make a whole array of items that all join together, but then you can mix and match them. That would be really cool. Right, am I going to be able to fit this in here now? This boxing mat. There we go. Perfect. Right, I think that's all we need to do down here. Have a little bit of a workout, maybe. Oh yeah, no, we need to check the uh, the things, don't we? Oh no, that is the floor that we did have, isn't it? I remember now. Oh, it's like a outside stadium type thing. So you got the streamers and ribbon stuff. Um, oh, it's a bit weird to have it outside in the basement is the only thing. I kind of like the idea of having it as an underground fight club. I think we should keep the boxing mat. Oh, it doesn't look too bad with the, that, but it's a bit weird, isn't it, actually? Um, oh, lab wall. I think we'll stick with the concrete wall until we find what we really like. Right, I'm going to put the DLC in here. And sporty, sporty. Lab wall can go. And okay. Yeah, so we're still on the lookout for a wallpaper, but... Oh, this is the sporty floor. We have two sporty floors because one was from Maury, so I'm just going to stick it in here as well so we don't lose it because I don't think you can order them again. Because they are DLC items, so there's no telling when we'll ever be able to get those again. But at least now we have a kind of pretty much almost complete um, basement room. Right, I don't think we even... We, we need more lovely items 
before we start decorating this room. But that's actually pretty cute, the clock, isn't it? So I'm glad that we went with the kitty and the lovely set to make kind of a playroom. What's this? Lovely carpet. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, this is pretty good, but I don't think we're going to aim to decorate it just yet. Um, but I'm really happy to get that from Red, knowing it's an exclusive item. I'm just going to remind myself of what we started doing upstairs. Was it the... Oh, that's right, the green zen. I actually really like this. But this definitely could use some more work as well, but I actually kind of like it. It's actually kind of just minimal and, and spacious. But anyway, so that's all we needed to do. So I guess we should probably go and earn some bells. Maybe we can find the money rock. Um... I don't think we need to waste any time watering flowers. They all look pretty good. Looks like it could rain today, actually. It's pretty cloudy. We can just see the moon, actually, just there. And some of our constellations. Right, let's see if we can go find the money rock. I would love to see Gulliver again in this game, though. But when? so hard to encounter because you just don't know when he, when you're gonna be able to encounter him all well, the grass is healing nicely in most of the places anyway oh we find the money rock already Yeah, Molly's house is coming along well. It's a shame we can't have a fifth house. Right, we do need to check nooks though, don't we? So, oh, there's some weeds up there. I'm gonna go and put these fossils over with the other fossils. I'm thinking we can buy the widescreen TV now from Nooks now that we've catalogued it from Red, if that makes sense. Right, before we go to Nooks, though, I'm going to go and check the recycling. Get rid of this invitation, and then maybe there's some other bits in there. I feel like we haven't played City Folk in ages, but it's only been three two three days <laughs> just seems like we haven't played absolutely ages but oh no nothing in here it sucks okay let's go raid the lost and found then another thing i like to do but yeah i'm getting the urge to go back to new leaf or back to the original animal crossing but i'm trying to hold off because i'm almost convinced nintendo are going to announce something soon if we started one of those towns again, it would be pretty weird if, like, within the next six months we have to do it again. <laughs> but anyway, let's go and uh, talk to Booker. Uh, mm, uh, yeah, hi. Uh, so, what can I do for you? Anything lost? Um, we currently have some items in the lost and found. I mean, we definitely have ten. Oh, it's a bunch of pitfalls. We'll clear it out, though. Uh, Chinese paper. Jeweled paper. What have we got here? Vegetarian shirt. Fireworks paper. Cool. Okay, we better check no one's in town as well. Seems we're here. Oh, I didn't notice anyone go through here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I would be more careful. That's okay. I don't know why he, Booker's so worried. It's like, no one came through. And you didn't see anyone, so it's okay. Right, we, def we might have to play as Mary tomorrow. Um, to try and clean up that stuff there. I think Mary's got stuff outside of her house to tidy away as well. But anyway... Still hoping for the silver slingshot. No! When are we ever going to get the silver slingshot? Mm. 
Oh no, we'll keep the basic painting because they're super hard to get. Right, hopefully there's some lovely furniture up here or kitty furniture or maybe any boxing ring items that we haven't found. Oh, a big kitchen sink thing. In fact, I think I might buy this actually. We had the kitchen corner the other day that we gave to Maury. Right, we're also going to check the wallpapers. A gold screen wall. Hmm. It's I'm going to buy it. I'm trying to think of things that we need to catalogue now. Dirt clod wall. No, that definitely screams underground, but... Not underground fight club. Modern wall, is that... What does that look like? Black and white, is it? Oh, it's kind of like a, a pattern. That's actually not bad. I think we need a little bit of a little bit of a design on the wall for the for the basement. Okay, definitely nothing in here that we need. I don't think. So maybe the gold screen would look good upstairs. We'll go ahead and buy the flowers, of course. Kind of a nod to the flower festival that's happening at the moment in Wild World, which is really cool. Buy the cedar sapling as well. Buy the rest of these flowers. If we've got space to. Perfect. We can start building out maybe some of the other flower beds now. Um, I think we've we've managed pretty well to kind of keep three going. We've got three main ones. We've got this one. We've got the uh, Cosmos one the other side near the museum. And then we've got the roses down below Mary's house. So we're doing okay. We do still have a few areas like this that need to heal though. Um, oh, we would not, are we gonna have any tulips? <laughs> Let's move this one. Get these all healed up. This all is all okay. You can see where we cut corners a little bit. It's not a big deal though. Oops. Yeah, I definitely think we should see what other it lovely items like the other residents have got. We might be able to save some time. It's hard to remember who's got what uh, patterns as well. Okay, now let's just go and check this gold screen wall because I don't think there's too much we need to do. Although I am enjoying just kind of walking around, it's quite peaceful. There's another fossil somewhere. But that could always be found another day, we don't need to do that. We've got a bunch of fossils to get through and it's going to be good money actually. That could be a good thing for saving up for the princess stuff maybe. But I've already forgotten what we had on the walls, it was a library wasn't it? Let's see what the gold screen looks like. Oh, very nice. I don't. I, how does it look with the green? It looks great with the carpet, but I'm not sure about the green furniture, but it could be my eyes. I think it looks kind of cool, actually. 
Maybe it doesn't go. It's hard to say. It's kind of yellow and green. I don't think it looks too bad, actually. I think that looks kind of cool. But let me know what you think. Does this look okay? <laughs> um, yeah, I'd love to know what you think. I, I'm not a very good judge of colors, so your help is very important. I uh, still love this one, though, with a little cabana basket on it. Super cute. But there we go. I think that's all we really need to do today in City Folk. Not a lot to do in game now. It's kind of just tidying up our town adding the final touches to the outside and trying to continue with the flower beds and then just finalizing molly's house but we're getting there and molly's house really coming together just a couple items we could do with finding that we still even like what are we at now uh 16 months in and we still haven't found some items which is absolutely crazy but thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode sorry um if my voice keeps cutting in and out i've got a bit of a cold again uh, so apologize for that, but hopefully you still enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts on future Animal Crossing Let's Plays, which one you'd like to see, which one you wouldn't like to see, um, and which ones you just, yeah, you'd, you'd like to watch, basically. But thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for tuning in, and of course, a huge shout out to the channel members that make this possible. A new emoji should be coming by the end of the week. Um, and then that should set up the rest because I'm going to try and change them all as well. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being awesome. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.